manufacturing, the really physical world. And I've got an example that's perhaps the most physical client that we have. It's a steel plant. Uh, well, you can't get much more physical than that. It's really raw materials turning uh, ore into, into uh, rolls of steel. Uh, and I, I recently developed this model together with a customer of ours. And I'll build it up for you and you'll see how a steel factory functions. It's certainly not the full model again. It's, uh, it's simplified, otherwise it wouldn't fit on my slide, but just to give you an impression of what you can do. Here we see a technology process for uh, creating steel. Processing raw materials, then steel making, it's cast, and then that's rolled into, well, rolled into steel. Of course, you need facilities to do that. So here we see a coke factory that, that processes raw materials, and we have a blast furnace that makes the steel. Uh, it that is then cast in the steel plant and into, uh, and that goes into the hot strip mill where the rolls of steel come out. Well, this is still very, very simplified. If you go into a bit more detail, you'll see uh, more on the next slide. Um, what we also want to model is, of course, what's going across these different flows. So, for example, the uh, liquid iron is going from the blast furnace to the steel plant. And the steel slabs are then going from the steel plant to the hot strip mill. And at the end, there's finished steel coming out of this whole process. Well, adding a little more detail, this, this becomes, now it's, now it's getting quite realistic. This is very close to the actual model they use. So here we see that for processing raw materials, we have actually three factories where coach pallets and sinters come out. Um, we can also model the conveyor belts that are used to transport the materials or the rail transport further on. Uh, if we then move to the right, we see more details of this steel plant. Uh, and at the end, we see that you can now also put this material inside a product in Archimate. We used to have products that were sort of peculiar. Archimate was intended initially as a language for these large information processing organizations like banks and insurance companies and government agencies. And the products consisted of a set of services and a contract. But not every product is just a set of services. So now you can also add data or material to your products. So you can put more stuff inside them and you can really use it as something uh, that's, that's more similar to what, let's say, normal people call a product and not just argument people. Um, of course, a product is always associated with some kind of contract. There's some kind of agreement between the buyer and the seller involved. It's not just the finished steel that makes it into a product. It's because you sell it as a product. Um, you might also observe, if you're a hardcore Archimate user, that we've changed the notation for contract. There's this line at the bottom that makes the difference between a contract and a business object. Uh, there are a few of those changes in the language to, to help you distinguish between concepts. So this is one of them to make sure that you don't confuse contracts with business objects. So that's one other example of an improvement. If we then zoom in on one of these uh, parts of, of the process, the hot strip mill, we see that there's much more detail inside them. So there's this, what they call a roll line, where they roll the steel, that's the physical equipment, uh, but that's controlled by process control software. And this is, of course, uh, a very high level overview, but here you already see that you can combine the physical and the IT world into one single node that combines the two and lets you model these, these integrated uh, uh, equipment, well, IT and, and physical equipment. Um, this is very useful for things like the Industry 4.0 wave where you see that manufacturing and IT are coming closer and closer together. Uh, another customer of ours is doing this very actively there in the aircraft manufacturing uh, world, and they are really replacing their uh, entire uh, paper stream of documents that goes along the, these aircraft parts by a fully digital system, so that it's uh, much well, much easier to keep track of uh, where the data is and uh, where the physical objects are. So that's helpful to have these concepts now to, to model this uh, correspondence. 